All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new video goes up on SoFlow TV. All right, this is a follow-up. Remember, we did a video about a brother who escaped prison in Jamaica and took a police officer's gun and shot the police officer and escaped with the gun, and then he was recaptured. We covered that story not too long ago. Well, that same brother otherwise called Kaka, Kaka, you know, Kaka like shit, Kaka, Kaka had his day in court recently to stand before a judge for sentencing or resentencing, so shout out to the Jamaica Gleaner for this one, let me give you the article real quick, and then I will give my personal opinion, so the escaped prisoner who says that it was never his intention to kill the policeman after disarming and shooting the cop yesterday apologized to the injured officer and begged him and his family for forgiveness yeah i'm gonna apologize to you i never really it wasn't my intention to kill you i just wanted to shoot you like really the 30 year old convict and he looks way older than 30 in one picture and in another picture he looks about his age i call him the man of many faces so the 30 year old convict ricardo kaka richards who had escaped the police weapons with the police weapon you know also apologized to the public and to the state through a letter that his lawyer ernest davis had to read for him because he was just too nervous in court to read it the content of richard's letter was shared yesterday during his sentencing hearing in the home circuit court where he was slapped and this is a hell of a slap he was slapped with 22 years in prison term at hard labor but we already know say hard labor thing don't really work anymore you know so one time in jamaica hard labor in prison meant that you're going down a manual road a brook rock stone meaning you're slinging a sledgehammer all day in that sun breaking up rocks and those rocks would be used to build walls many good well constructed rock walls and these things that doesn't happen anymore so when the judge now says at hard labor ain't really no hard labor going on but he's gotten 22 years i have my opinion on that and i'll save it to the end so justice sonia wint blair in sentencing the father of two ordered him to serve 22 years for wounding with intent and 13 years and four months each for the offenses of illegal possession of firearm and robbery with aggravation the sentence are to run concurrently so he ends up with 22 years only now i'm still wondering did they get the service weapon back because the man escaped with the policeman gun you know all that the squad there his virgin them must be clowning him but listen now, he escaped with his gun and i don't know if they got the gun back so the officer was injured in March 12th, in a daring daylight escape at the National Chess Hospital in St. Andrew after he and two others were taking Richards there to do an x-ray. Now remember how Richards them start this out, drop down upon the floor, start crying, oh my god, my chest, I feel like I have a heart attack, I got dead. And they decided to take him to the chest x-ray to chest treatment hospital something to go see the doctor when it was all a part of his escape plan now i don't know what this is this is what he said in court listen up. i don't know what got over me and caused me to commit this crime i am asking please madam for another chance in society i am asking on behalf of my two children i recognize what i did was wrong and not a good example for my two children and also the children of the society he said in the letter now according to richards his penitence was from his heart the injured cop in the victim impact statement did not say how he feels about forgiving richards but the constable who was doused in the eye because i know one person in bad up you know I think he had bleach in a bottle and he sprayed the bleach in one of them eyes and then grabbed the gun from the next one. So this, this man I was brave enough to carry out this. It's one thing to think something like this. It's another thing to actually carry it out. 
It's always funny to me how when they go to prison or they're standing in front of a judge, how humble they become. And soon they want to beg on behalf of their children. Like, didn't you know that you had children before you did all this? Yeah? I don't know what came over me. Well, that is exactly the reason why you need to be behind bars. Because you can't even explain why you did what you did. Which tells me that you are very impulsive and you being in society, you will probably be doing something worse than what you did before. Now, again, he said that those words were from his heart. Okay? So the constable now, who was doused in the eye with the chemical, said that he could not forgive him. And as he was the one that had protected Richards when Richards was being preyed upon and assaulted in prison and had placed him in a cell by himself for his own protection. So the same person who was looking out for him in prison, because prison is a rough place. So don't let anybody fool you. You're either going to be a predator or you're going to be a prey. All right. There is no in between in there. Unless you're in between somebody something or somebody in between you're something. You're either done in there, you're a predator or you're a prey. Apparently, Kaka was a prey. And he was being beaten up on in there. And he was being, you know, not treated good. Like how it goes in prison. This particular officer who he chose to spray this cleaning chemical or bleach in his eyes was actually the person who was protecting him in there even got him to a cell by himself meanwhile the still traumatized officer who was shot and suffered a fractured spine said that he lost 25 pounds since the incident and he is still unable to walk properly gunshot is not a funny thing added to that the cop said that he has a current like feeling in his left leg which has affected his ability to have a full night's sleep. The officer said that he was struggling to pay his bills and that he was unable to do his side job. Now, a police officer like this, injured in the line of duty, he should actually have some kind of insurance and some kind of government assistance that kicks in and helps him to where he shouldn't even have to worry about some side job, side hustle, extra job. Like I've said before, they get basket to carry water, and that's the way how that is, right? Now, before the sentencing was passed down, Richard's mother begged the court, Lord have mercy, your honor, extend some mercy for the sake of his four-year-old daughter who is motherless and misses him. Richard's could be seen fighting back tears as his mother spoke about his young daughter. Boy, it's kind of too late for that still. Davis, in his plea in mitigation, beseeched the judge to think of his client's ability to rehabilitate. This is his lawyer now. Your Honor, please think of my client's ability to rehabilitate and not to bow to the public's pressure. Because you know the public are saying, hang him. And the public is saying, keep him in there for as long as ever. And his lawyer is saying, Your Honor, don't bow to the public's pressure and impose a sentence, please, that would serve more as a deterrent to others. Hmm. Here is my final summation of all this. Kaka is very lucky, okay? Because first of all, if that had happened anywhere else, like say for instance in the United States of America, it would have been shoot to kill and he would have gotten killed. Or if he was lucky enough to get away with the escape, when he was caught again, that would have been a definite life sentence. This not know, oh, I think he might be in prison for a long time. You shot a law enforcement official after disarming the law enforcement official. You planned this. It shows premeditation. You had this chemical waiting. I don't know if them never strip him down and search him before they, handcuff before they took him out. And he was not handcuffed. Because him did look weak and fenke fenke and they kind of felt sorry for him. So they really bought into his story of this chest pain and he's about to die kind of thing. We don't want him dying on our watch. Then in the come I got jump in there and say uh, prisoner being abused and all this other stuff. Their hands are tied. Had that been the United States of America, 
that would have been an attempted murder charge on a law enforcement official, which definitely would have gotten him nothing less than a life sentence in prison. So him better be happy that he's in Jamaica and he got 22 years. I think that punishment fits the crime because he will have 22 years to think about what he just did. He's in his 30s, so by the time he gets out, he'll be in his 50s. So he will still be able to move around. It's not like he's coming out as an old man. Right? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. I'm out. Peace.